Well, hello, Garden McKissick Smith family. This is Katrina. You know, I want to talk about the history of Goodwin, Arkansas and its connection to our family. Now, I did a video on how our family migrated from Macon, Georgia to Goodwin, Arkansas a few years ago. The video link is in its description box. It would be best if you watch the video first and then come back and finish this video later. So let's begin. Goodwin, Arkansas is a small community located west of Forest City, Arkansas, along Highway 70 in St. Francis County. It was a stop on the Memphis and Little Rock Railroad and more likely named after the secretary and treasurer of that company, John W. Goodwin. The exact year is unknown. In 1896, however, an article appeared in the Forest City Times about Goodwin, stating, we are expecting more families to build on the land already purchased and hope to see plenty of home seekers come and buy before summer. One of those families was the Gardners. Peter Gardner was fleeing Georgia with another family member and they departed the train at the Goodwin's train station. This was in 1923. He sent for his parents, Kane and Kizzy White and Gardner, his siblings, and his nieces and nephews, the McKissicks, whose ages ranged from 16 years old to six years old. His sister passed away and the Gardner family raised them. After residing there and making it their permanent home, the Gardners received the 2.5 acres of farmland from John and Ethel Cruz, who were known to be good to the blacks so that they can have a place to bury their people. A year after moving from Georgia to Goodwin, Kane Gardner was the first to be buried there in 1924. A little over 10 years later, the Smiths made their transition to Goodwin, Arkansas. This is how our family is tied and connected to Goodwin, Arkansas.